Hi, my name is Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my podcast, 075. Now we're going to do a very brief thing about creating and managing your Vectorx libraries. I just want to go through a couple of really basic things that you have to do in order to make your libraries work effectively for you. I'm not going to have time to go into a whole lot of detailed work about it. Uh, I did that this month with my uh, Short Sharp Training Monthly. If you're interested in that, you'll need to subscribe. Step number one, you need to edit your Vectorx preferences. Let's have a look. Click on the Session tab. Make sure you have this one here turned on, Display Default Content. If you do not turn on Display Default Content, you will not be able to access all of the work that you do with your library. Now number two, let's look at User Folders. Now User Folders are new for Vectorworks 2008 and 2009. Vectorworks 12 has a kind of a user folder, but it's not nearly as useful as the 2008 and 2009. Here's my user folder here. I'm on a Macintosh, so it stores it in my application support. If you're on a Windows machine, that will say Users, it'll have your name, it'll say Documents and Settings, Application Data, uh, Nemes Check, Vectorworks 2009. Now the idea of a user folder is that anything you change in the user folder then becomes your default content in Vectorworks. So it works really well. So those are the first two things you need to do. Now if you set things up correctly with your library, when you go to create an object like this and you want to put hatching on it, you'll access your hatch library. These are all my default hatches. Now you can see I've got two windows open on my screen. Now the one on the left hand side, this is showing the standard Vectorworks library. This is inside your application folder. And you can see there are things like gradients, hatches and so on. The trick is, open up this gradients file here, change any of the hatches you don't like, delete any hatches you don't like, and store it into your user folder. This is my user folder here. And store it into the user folder in the correct place. So in other words, hatches go into the attributes hatches folder. Sorry, gradients go into the attributes gradients folder, hatches go into the attributes hatches folder, image fills go into the image fills, concrete profiles go into the framing member, customized borders go into your uh, drawing border title blocks and so on. So the trick is open up the file on the left, edit it, save it to, the pl to your user folder on the right and then when you're finished delete so right mouse click I should be able to use delete or move to trash so remove that from the standard Vectorworks library now next time you restart Vectorworks you won't have all the old hatches that you don't like or the old gradients you don't like you'll only have the ones that you've chosen I'd like to thank you for watching this podcast now there is a short sharp manual available that that goes along with this podcast and it shows you in detail how to create your symbol library, how to go through your user data and all the rest of it. Thanks for your time.